All right, Brian. Well, the Oakland University Golden Grizzlies are busy getting ready for the NCAA tournament. Yes, it's the team's first appearance since 2011. Tonight, our Hobie Artigue is introducing us to a player who always knew he was going to be a Golden Grizzly. Every team's path to the Final Four begins somewhere, and for Oakland, it started right here at the arena. But for one player on the Golden Grizzlies roster, his path to the NCAA tournament actually started right here in these stands. Most kids grow up in Michigan with basketball dreams of playing here. Or maybe there. But for Trey Townsend, his answer never changed from Oakland. Elementary school and middle school, and it would be Oakland, and then I would just name the four most popular schools that I could think of at the time. And then when I got to high school, you know, I wasn't heavily recruited at all, so I was always just wanted to play at Oakland. When I was six, seven, eight years old, I was like, man, I want to do this for real one day. A kid born and raised on Oakland hoops, now raising the standard of this program back in the big dance. I've experienced it as a fan, but I was about eight or nine years old, so I don't truly really understand the magnitude of, you know, being a part of it as a player. So I'm gonna make sure I enjoy every single moment of it, no matter what happens. He's got an NBA body, hmm. and you don't do that. It just doesn't happen. You've got to work. The Golden Grizzlies are truly in Trey's blood. Both of his parents played basketball at OU. My mom made it to the Division II Final Four when she was here, so she was she's a very decorated uh, Oakland <laughs> basketball alum. I'm just so grateful that they were able to watch me in person and you know get to experience this with me because it's been such a special year. Trey is the second Townsend to play for head coach Greg Campy. His dad Skip starred for Oakland in the 80s. This moment, a full circle in his fourth decade at OU. The story of what he did has encompassed my 40 years here. We try to lead everybody and not everybody does what he does. So the story's him. The story is him and to sit back and watch that and know where it came from, is just it's rewarding. A fitting end to a basketball career for a player that finds himself in the NCAA tournament. A place Trey's always wanted to go with a place he's always wanted to be. To hit a lot of those goals my senior year here, I've, as I've been saying, it's I couldn't have scripted a better better story, better senior year, and we're not done yet. We're, we're excited to get out and play, and I'm just ready to keep writing a good story. At Oakland University, Hobie RT, Local 4. I love that shot when he was little and he was holding the picture of Campy there yeah, going, yeah, I, yeah. Want to, I want to play with him, yeah, and yeah, he yeah. is. It's cool. It's, it is. It's unbelievable. Great story. His dad played there also. NCAA tournament, though, gets going for these Oakland University Golden Grizzlies on Thursday, 7-10 tip-off. They're the 14th seed. They're going to face third seed of Kentucky in Pittsburgh. Kentucky favored by 13 and a half. As you heard, this is Greg Campy's 40th year coaching at the school. Hobie asked him why he stays with Oakland. Why have you stayed? I mean, I get that asset all the time. Why this? Why that? And I mean, just look at that. You know, and that, it's, that story is, it's a feel good story. And, and when I'm on an island somewhere, you know, that's what I'm going to remember, right? I, it's, it's, who cares? I mean, our fans care, I guess, on wins and that, but I don't. Doesn't care about the wins. How about that?